How's it going, everybody? Scott Sponsor here, DocSports.com, with a rough date for Tuesday, April 28, 2020. We're back in our NFL divisional previews. We've covered the NFC. Now time to head to the AFC. We'll start in the West, and I'll get to that in just a moment. First, a couple of quick notes. Listen, we are still handicapping and betting games. We've got Nicaraguan soccer, Belarus soccer, Taiwanese baseball. Uh, as far as the soccer is concerned, five and one over our last eight or nine days now. And as far as all sports combined, we are now on an eight and three run uh, going back to last weekend, not this past weekend, but 10 days ago or so. And so it's a situation where we've been winning, we've been finding value, and when we do, we jump on board. You can check out my daily homepage over at DocSports.com and, and see when we do have daily picks. Uh, we will have our next soccer play available on Wednesday. It'll be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific for Wednesday's Nicaraguan soccer action. In fact, this week in soccer, we've got Wednesday soccer, Friday soccer, Saturday soccer, Sunday soccer. So you get the picture, and we're on a red-hot run right now on the pitch going 5-1 and one over the last eight days. So be sure to check that out. Taiwanese baseball, boy, it goes early in the morning. If you're a, an early riser on the East Coast or you're a night owl on the West Coast, uh, be sure to check it out because I do have two or three Taiwanese baseball plays per week, but again, they are early morning games uh, as far as our times are concerned in the U.S. And, and by the way, don't forget about that $60 free account. You can still click on the video, excuse me, click on the link below this video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which can be used now on one of these daily packages that I've been talking about, or you can hold on to it and wait until we get some North American sports. Speaking of North American sports, NASCAR is coming back May 17th in Darlington. No fans of the stands. Nobody's been better than we have over the last 23, 24 years in NASCAR. Started handicap and betting uh, NASCAR in the 96 uh, season, late 96 season, and we've handicapped and betted almost every single year since. I've even had my action refused and rejected at some sports books in Las Vegas. We'll tell the whole story one of these days on one of these videos, and uh, we're on a great run right now as we'll head into the restart of NASCAR. 17 and 5 with the last 22, 24 and 8 with the last 32, uh, and again, it all starts on May 17th in Darlington. Glad to have NASCAR back. Uh, it also looks like we're going to have Korean baseball on May 5th. Hopefully ESPN's going to work out a deal. They've been talking about it to broadcast a few Korean baseball games. And uh, UFC on May 9th. And you know I'm involved in the fight game, so I'll be involved in UFC on May 9th. We'll talk a little bit more about all those sports as we get closer to the actual dates. Let's get to our AFC West preview. We're going to start with today with the uh, KC Chiefs, of course, Super Bowl champs. And uh, they're the only team in the AFC West uh, that has a, an over-under wins total posted 500 or better at the books that I'm talking about. Uh, they're minus 425 to win the West. Their over-under is 11.5 with a little bit of juice on the over, about $1.15. Uh, the Chiefs could probably, as you know, with this talent, win 10 games this year without Patrick Mahomes even being at quarterback. We saw that they did pretty well without him for a good chunk of last year. I can't fault this team on a, a kind of a mediocre, weakish draft. I mean, after all, they had little turnover from last year's Super Bowl winning team and they only also only had five draft picks with so that very first pick uh, being the final pick of the first round of course defense last year only a little bit better than middle of the pack when you talk about important metrics and statistically speaking but the offense ranked in the top three and the defense was good when it counted obviously they won the Super Bowl uh, when I look at their non-divisional road schedule this year there's some tough teams on that non-divisional road schedule they got to play at Baltimore they play at Buffalo at New Orleans at Tampa Bay they should beat Miami they probably come out of that three and two or four and one but three and two is a just distinct possibility when you look at that schedule. Uh, when you look at what they're doing at home, they should be able to get through it, maybe even unscathed. 7-1, and 8-0. Oh. And at the very most, I have this team losing two divisional games, maybe a couple on the road. They do have that home non-divisional game against New England. I think they'll get past the Patriots without Brady and what New England's going to bring on offense this season. So I really think that this team winning less than 12 games is kind of hard to imagine, unless they suffer some serious injuries or don't quite have that motivation between the years. But with Andy Reid, with a leader like Patrick Mahomes on offense, I think the motivation will be there uh, to back up what they did last season. So I, I lean towards the over with KC. It's 11 and a half. I think this is a 12-win team, barring any significant injuries. We'll call KC over 11 and a half. And uh, listen, don't forget to check out DocSports.com, the homepage, the videos, uh, because on Tuesday, Rafael Esparza and I are going to sit down and we're going to break down a division in the AFC 
per video. So we're gonna have four videos, four divisions. We're gonna release those at DocSports.com over the next several days. So you'll be able to check that out. And that'll be all teams from each division on every video. It'll be a lot of fun. We did it with the NFC. You can check those out on the Doc Sports homepage. All right, again, KC over 11 and a half wins. If you don't mind laying a big price, minus 425 surely doesn't feel uh, bad value when you consider nobody else in the West has even been given a wins total of eight. So there you go. All right, uh, also wanted to mention real quickly, uh, the, the, there's no free pick, unfortunately, to give out on Tuesday uh, because there are no Tuesday games in soccer. And the only Tuesday games in Taiwanese baseball, well, there's one game, and it goes off just uh, past midnight uh, as far as uh, Pacific time is concerned. So we'll be back with more free action in the next day or so. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. That'll let you know when you subscribe of when we do have new videos each and every day. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. I should be right back here by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Wednesday with my next team preview. We're going to jump into the Denver Broncos with that particular video. We'll talk to you then.